Missouri State Lady Bears hit the hardwood tonight in Chicago in the program's fourth Sweet 16 appearance. Kelly Harper's Lady Bears facing a blue blood of women's basketball in Stanford. Color 10's Dan Malloy is standing by live with more from Chicago. Dan? Yeah, Dan, when we got up here this weekend, we already knew Missouri State was the long shot, the lowest remaining seed in this NCAA tournament. But they had not played like an underdog or a Cinderella or a double-digit seed. No, no, no. This mid-major has made history this weekend, and they've put the nation on notice. Senior Danielle Gitson was fired up at a jam-packed pep rally here in Chicago. Inside Wintrust Arena, she brings that same energy, dropping her defender like a bad habit with a step-back jumper in the first. But Stanford's length gave the Lady Bears all sorts of trouble. MSU denied over and over with outstretched arms in the lane. Sweet 16 celeb sightings after Anna Wilson's second quarter bucket. Older brother Russell and his wife Sierra watching Anna one-two step. She scored a season high 11 points today. Lady Bears defense as good as ever though, holding the Cardinal to just 25% for the day. It was 28-19 Stanford at half. Neither team was shooting it well, but Bryce Caleb's third quarter three makes it a four point game. Lady Bears got within three, but then 6-5 center Shannon Coffey pushes it back to six. 43-35 Stanford after three. The MSU defense put the clamps on him in the fourth. Jasmine Franklin steals and scores. The freshman posts a double-double, 11 points, 10 boards. A few minutes later, Maya Binhar to Franklin. Freshman to freshman caps off an 8-0 run, 49-44. But the Lady Bear magic runs out in the final minutes. Stanford 55, Missouri State 46. It all ends in the Sweet 16, an unforgettable 50th season of Lady Bear basketball. To be able to go to Sweet 16 and we only have, what, three upperclassmen is something that's pretty amazing. We kind of put Missouri State on the map and, hey, it's, you're going to want to watch the Lady Bears these next couple years. Our team can hang, like, even though we're the underdogs, we still can, like, keep going. We got a little fight in us and I think these next few years will definitely be great. It's just really special that this team has made their mark on a very storied program uh, in such rich history. And this team is... Uh, they have their name in there, and it's, it's a big deal. You may remember Missouri State started this season 1-7. and seven. That can do a, some damage on a young team. But Coach Kelly Harper said all along this team believed that they could be this good. We heard the players saying yesterday in practice, we know we belong here. Lady Bears finished the season 25-10, and 10, and this historic campaign wraps up here in Chicago. Truly one of the great seasons in Lady Bear history. Dan, back to you in Springfield. Defense very strong tonight in the game. You mentioned it a lot in your story, but offensively the team struggled, especially from the outside, and that probably was the key. Yeah, I think people watching this game that haven't watched Lady, the Lady Bears play this season probably thought both offenses stunk. Well, you know, it wasn't their night offensively, but they made life living heck for Stanford. I'll say that. Both teams shot just 25%. That's a team with all Americans and all Pac-12 players on the floor and the Lady Bears, just like they did to Drake, DePaul, and Iowa State. They made them earn every point in this game. And Coach Tara Vanderveer, a legend, Hall of Fame coach of Stanford, said this was one of the toughest games she's coached in the NCAA tournament, Dan. Speaking of coaches, obviously the future for Kelly Harper at Missouri State with that Tennessee job vacant right now. How has she handled questions about that from a media outside of Springfield? Field. You know, yesterday before practice, she said she loves the, the Lady Vols. She will be a Lady Vol for life, but she really wanted all the focus this weekend to be about this team and the Lady Bears. This is obviously going to be a very tense offseason for Lady Bear fans, I think, at least a tense couple weeks as that coaching search really, really revs up down in Knoxville. But, you know, Kelly has done so much for this program. I don't think Kyle Motes really could have asked for much more when he hired Kelly six seasons ago. Two NCAA tournament appearances and a, and a Sweet 16 appearance this weekend. Dan. Thanks, Dan, and great job with our Lady Bear postseason coverage this entire month of March. Thanks a lot.